Hello guys, what's up? Dev Channel here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the save file dialog within a C sharp.net application. For this purpose, we're creating a new project which we're calling Save Data to File. We're using a Windows Phone application and a .NET framework 4.5. For our test application, we are using a button which starts the save process and the writing process. We are naming the button save as and the internal name is as you might know pdn save as. Furthermore, we are using a text box. Uh, because in this text box our data is stored. So we have TXP data. And we do we need uh, more? We will say we've got a multiple line text box because it can store more data. Alright. In our save as button, when we click it, we need a save file dialog. Save file dialog and as have, uh, if you watch the open file dialog we are getting a dialog result after the dialog is shown and we make an if clause if the save file dialog show dialog uh, returns a dialog result and if the dialog result equals ok we have uh, pressed saved and we can use the file name. The file name is basically our path. So we can say file dialog, file name. Uh, if you have multiple files, you have got the file names. In this case, we only have one, that's the file name. So the path is where our text file will be stored. For our writing, we are using the stream writer. For this, we need to uh, reference system.io, writer, new stream writer, and we gave him the path. So he basically knows where to write the file. We're calling a uh, writer to write a method. We are writing uh, all at once. We have multiple lines, we can also iterate over the lines and write each line by itself. That makes sense if you got a, lot, a huge file. For our both write is enough. And we are say TXP data and the text. And after our write is finished, we're going to close the writer. So that is basically everything that we need. Now let's run the program, hitting run. I am at test file and I am line 2. We're hitting save as. The dialog opens. We're going to desktop, say test, save, txt. And we hit save. The program still runs, so we can do it multiple times, but that should be enough for us. We are, are stopping. And now we are navigating to the desktop. We are seeing the test save txt file and we open it and the uh, content is I'm a test file I'm line 2 so guys that is basically everything you need to work with save file dialogues and save data to a text file thank you very much for watching guys any support of you is very much appreciated and if you have further wishes for future videos please let me know thank you guys bye